guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Jim Rodriguez, and you know how we do. It's another lovely hair review. Mm -hmm. Y'all know I love me some lovely hair, okay? Some people say they're not worth it. I think that everything I've gotten from there has been a hot buy. Before we get into it, make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit that notifications bell so you don't miss a thing. All right, let's go ahead and talk about this wig that we're getting into today. This is a five by five. It's a short water wave side part glueless wig. All right, you guys, so this is the perfect length for summer. And I'm telling you, it really is. It keeps the hair off the neck, but it gives you a nice style. Make sure you guys hang out and stay tuned because this install was super duper easy and I can wear this for multiple days and sleep in it overnight. So let's go ahead and get into it. Now, as you can see, this lace is much lighter than my skin tone. So I'm gonna use a little bit of powder foundation to help it to blend. I'm primarily concerned about the hairline. So that's where I'm gonna start. I'm not gonna cover all the lace. I'm gonna leave a little bit to be cut. I'm using kind of a pat, pat, pat method. That helps to just add a little bit more dense color to it. And as you can see, there's a slight difference between the lightness in the front and just a little bit more of a scalp color toward the back. All right, so I have my wig here. Per usual, I'm gonna leave a few of my hairs out on the sides. Ooh, nice and short. Nice and short. So I'm looking for my combs. I'm gonna place those in there. Make sure that you, boop, it's right there. On both sides. This fits really, really good. I swear, I, I, I don't even think I really need the got to be glue with this one. This fits really well all by itself. I don't need to do a whole lot with it at all. But I am gonna use a little bit, I feel like just to kind of add some hold to it and because it has really nice hair right up to the hairline. Okay, very cool, very cool. All right, let me go ahead and just lay this down real quick. Now, if you watch all my videos, I don't always just use got to be spray. I do use other products, so make sure you check them out because sometimes I switch it up on you, okay, without warning. So make sure you're checking out them videos, letting me know what works for you guys. Again, this lace only goes from temple to temple. I love that. I love that about this. I'm gonna add one more layer on top of the lace. Before I tie this down, I went ahead and cut three slits into the lace. I'm gonna add a little mousse and a little edge control and kind of get this to lay where I want to. You know I've got my beauty store mousse here. Boop, boop, boop. Normal mousse. And I'm gonna go through and smooth, kind of smooth it down a little bit around the edges since those have really nice natural edges. There's almost not too much you can use doing this. You can certainly lay it down first and then do it after. Sleek it down a little bit. I don't wanna take too much of the curl out. Now that I've got some mousse in there, I'm just gonna go through and tweeze a few hairs in here. I don't have to do a whole lot. I just kinda wanna clear the way just around the hairline. I don't wanna take away too much. This is looking really, really good. I can also start to kinda see where I missed the mark a little bit with the makeup, but that's okay. I can always add some after I lay it down or before. I try not to tweeze too far back, especially back here where it already, you know, kind of looks spacey. I don't want to tweeze too much there. And that's where the true customization begins. And that's when you know you can hang of things, when you can actually, you know, not just do things so cookie cutter way all the time. It really just depends on the wig. It depends on how you're styling it that day and how you want to style it for future, you know, future styles and how you want to switch it up. Now I've gotten a tan, okay? So I've gotten a little bit of tan. If you don't know, I've been to Cabo. Got a little bronze, so that's why I'm switching up what I normally use. But as you can see, this is looking really good. So let's tie it down and get the rest of the hair together. So I got my laces out. I'm gonna save cutting for like my last step. Good 
good generous amount. It came pretty curly. Like to be honest, this came pretty curly. It came with really, really good, with a great pattern. So there should be no reason why after adding a little bit of product just to kind of lock things in that this shouldn't still have, you know, a good amount of hold to it. So I'm just adding some cream. You can mix a little gel with it or you can layer whatever works for you. But I'm just gonna go through and do a little bit of scrunching. As you can see, this definitely, oh my gosh, I love this. It has such a good curl pattern. You can use a large tooth comb to just kind of comb through the hair and make sure that that product or whatever products you add to it is evenly distributed through it. I personally like to more so just finger comb it, separate those curls, do a little scrunch. This is so perfect for summer, you guys. All right, it's been about five, 10 minutes since I've laid this down. You certainly don't have to lay it down that long if you don't want to. Sometimes you can lay it down while you get your makeup done or what have you. Look at this, you guys. This is so cute. All right, final step. It's time to cut this lace, baby. Now that those slits are off, I'm gonna do some corrective sprays where the lace may have lifted. Then I'll go back through and tighten it up with a little more makeup. Crazy thing is, is that my, <laughs> I had a tan line there anyway because I wore a wig outside. That I did not expect to happen. I did not expect to come back and be tan from here down, like middle of my forehead down, I was tan. Above that, was my normal color and y'all, it was hilarious. I totally forgot that when you wear a wig and sit, sit outside for a while, that tan line <laughs> ends up there too. So I'm working it out. you guys that's the review for this five by five it's a short water wave blueless wig of course like i said once i put it on i really didn't need the spray i just put it on because i'm going to be wearing this for a few days and i want to be able to sleep in it overnight definitely a hot buy definitely something i would add to your summer collection your fall collection it falls really nicely you can see in the back just how short it comes you can add baby hairs to it if you want you can add a little in the face or the attitude, you know what I'm saying? There's so much you can do with this wig to actually keep it versatile. It's 12 inches, it comes all one length. You can certainly add more layers to it if you want, just to get a little more body out of it. But I like the one length right now. It keeps things simple, it's chic, and it's totally trending. So why not just roll with what's going on? But you already know you can save an extra 23% by using the coupon code Gen 20. So make sure you use that code. Save those coins. Let's find out how many coins you can save because I'm a numbers person. I need to know. So 23% off is $39 off. Save you 30 bucks. Save those extra $30. You know what I'm saying? Put them in your gas tank. I don't know. You can use that $30 store something else now. So go ahead and save it. Use the code Gen 20 for 23% off. Save yourself $30. All right, you guys, that's my video for today. I will catch you next time. Stay tuned. Make sure you subscribe because I have some other hair reviews and vlogs coming up. You know, I got a lot going on. I would love to share with you. So hang out with your girl and hit that notifications bell so you don't miss a thing. I'll catch you next time. Bye.